Well, I started painting uh, when I was a little kid because my mom did, and uh, she she wasn't a, a pro or anything, but she took art lessons all the time, and that was her thing, kind of. So uh, that got me into painting. Uh, my yeah, my original paintings uh, are not for sale. I you know I want to keep them. I I don't have that many where I can just start selling them. Um, and luckily I don't need the money to have to sell them. So, but, uh, you know, the idea of uh, making prints and selling those for charity, I think is a great idea uh, because it, it it's not only good for the charities, but it gets my paintings out and to be seen more. Well, my, uh, my first experience with uh, doing uh, charity work uh, was about uh, eight years ago. My friend uh, and painter, Scott Medlock, um, he knew, uh, he was friends with the Tillman family, Pat Tillman family, and um, uh, when Pat Tillman died uh, overseas, his, uh, his family started a foundation to get uh, you know, funding for for uh, school for for the children of fallen veterans, which I thought was pretty cool. So we, uh, Scott and I, decided to uh, hold a golf tournament uh, and try to raise some money for them. And that was about eight years ago. So we did that for a couple of years, and and we did pretty well. Every year it got a little better for about three years, and um, and then uh, one. About five years ago, we, we uh, a friend of ours, uh, Patrick Warburton, who's an actor, uh, he was doing a uh, an event for St. Jude's Children's Hospital, and um, so we started to learn more about that, and uh, we ever since we've been doing a, an event ourselves for uh, for the uh, St. Jude's uh, Hospital. Musically, um, you know, when I uh, when I was a kid, my, my dad had all these great records, you know, like 78 records, 45s, uh, 33s, and um, I he had uh, these blues records, which I had never heard that before, but I knew I liked it, you know, and he had some flamenco records too, so that was my my first influence. And then when I went to school, uh, I went to uh, a private school for a while up in uh, Menlo Park. And there were some kids from back east, and they were they were exposed to stuff that we never heard out here, like jug band music, um, uh, ragtime, uh, folk music, stuff like that, which really really opened my eyes to. Uh, a uh, whole different uh, styles of music. And um, as far as painting, uh, I always liked Van Gogh. I guess my mom liked him too, so she, you know, she showed me all the Van Gogh stuff. Okay, so as far as painting goes, um, you know, my mom turned me on to Van Gogh and uh, so I really liked him, and I still do. I just was in St. Petersburg, uh, Russia Museum, and saw some Van Goghs that I've never seen before. They're not even in the magazine. Um, and from there, I, I kind of got into the more abstract guys, you know, like Jackson Pollock and um, Rousseau. I loved him, Dolly, all that stuff. So. You know, I would consider myself more of an abstract uh, painter.